Uh, and when I was thinking about <clears throat> what I chose here, I realized it's basically uh, some accessible poems of work and love uh, woven together. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, when I was 25, I was working, uh, the summer that I was 25, I was working for, no, that wasn't the summer I was 25. <laughs> I was 24. <laughs> <laughs> I was working for the Park Service, National Park Service, uh, repairing trails in the back country of Yosemite National Park. Uh, but at the beginning of the season, still down in the valley, that is to say Yosemite Valley, uh, they, kept, uh, they, kept me, me, they kept me busy for a week, uh, helping to fill up one of the big hay barns with bales of hay that had just been trucked up from the Sacramento Valley uh, to carry the stock, that's the mules and the horses, over for the winter. Uh, they would hay feed all of the stock all winter right in the valley rather than move them down to the uh, low country uh, to graze. So this poem is called, Hay for the Horses. And of all the poems I've written, this has been in more high school anthologies than any other. So if you recognize it, I'm not surprised. Hay for the Horses. He had driven half the night from far down San Joaquin through Mariposa up the dangerous mountain roads and pulled in at 8 a.m. with his big truckload of hay behind the barn. With winch and ropes and hooks, we stacked the bales up clean to splintery redwood rafters high in the dark, flecks of alfalfa whirling through shingle cracks of light itch of hay dust in the sweaty shirt and shoes. At lunchtime under black oak, out in the hot corral, the old mare nosing lunch pails, grasshoppers crackling in the weeds. I'm 68, he said. I first bucked hay when I was 17. I thought that day I started, I sure would hate to do this all my life. Damn it, that's just what I've gone and done. 